In this video, you will learn the seven deadly mistakes actors make when choosing and performing their audition monologues. My name is Jamie, and I'm the artistic producer and casting director of Jamie and Hannah's Happy Hour. I've done a number of castings, and I'm going to share with you the seven biggest mistakes I see actors make that keep them from getting called back. Audition prep! Welcome again to our latest video in monologue audition prep. I mentioned earlier that I'm a producer, but I'm also an actor, so I know what it's like on both sides of the audition table. It's not easy to pick the right audition monologue. You might ask, why do we even need them? To which I say, go watch our other video, Why Casting Directors Ask for Monologues. The reason might surprise you. It's not about acting. If you've seen the video, then you already know what casting directors are looking for, so you need to find the right audition monologue. Here are seven deadly mistakes actors make when choosing and performing their audition monologues. Do not die. Oh. Now, everyone loves acting out a good death scene, myself included. However, you should not pick a monologue where your character dies at the end. Remember, this is the casting team's first impression of you, and pretending to die in the middle of your monologue might come across as self-indulgent. Do not kill. When selecting an audition monologue, don't choose one that requires you to kill another character. A young woman once performed a monologue in which she pantomimed killing another character, and those of us behind the table really didn't have any idea what she was doing. Whenever possible, it's best not to leave the casting team feeling confused. Oh. <laughs> Bang! So, don't pantomime killing someone else. Avoid props. There are some directors that won't mind a small prop, like a pen or a phone, something you might already have on your person. But, as a general rule, avoid monologues that rely heavily on props. Like in Two Gentlemen of Verona, Julia has a lovely monologue where she rips up a piece of paper and then spends the rest of it crawling on the floor looking at the pieces. It's a fantastic monologue, but it has two major problems. Number one, you just dirtied up the audition room with paper trash and the casting team is not going to appreciate that. Number two, you're now spending your entire monologue on the floor and that's not how you want to be remembered. So, avoid props. But now you say to yourself, I love that monologue so much that I'll just use it without the props. I'll use my awesome acting skills to pantomime the prop. Avoid pantomime. Unless the director specifically asks you to demonstrate your physical comedy skills, avoid pantomime in your monologue. Let's take the same example with the Julia monologue, only this time you've torn up some pretend paper and now you're crawling on the floor looking at pretend scraps. We have the same problem as before, where number one, you're spending your audition on the floor, only this time you're looking at nothing? This is going to really confuse the casting team, and if anything, we don't want to leave them confused because that means no callback. So, no pantomime. No accents. Unless you're auditioning for a role where you have to demonstrate a particular dialect, do not audition with an accent that is not your own. The director might think you don't know what play you're auditioning for. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings of an arrow, bless your heart. Instead, write which accents you can do on your resume and if we want to know more, we'll ask. Uncomfortable subject matter. Your biggest goal at the audition is to not make the casting team uncomfortable. With that in mind, don't pick a monologue that talks about uncomfortable subject matter like religion or abortion. Remember, this is their first impression of you and you don't know how they're going to react if you do a monologue with such sensitive subject matter. There are plenty of monologues that don't discuss abortion and you come to Jesus, and you come to Jesus. Also, don't do that monologue where the chick has sex with the bull. Just, just avoid that one. Chair acting. Use the chair wisely. Most auditions will allow you to use a chair during your monologue, and sometimes sitting is exactly what you need to really hit that moment. But don't get stuck there. If you have a really active monologue, but you're just trapped in the chair, the casting director is going to be focused on that instead of how great your acting is. And we don't want that. And those are the seven pitfalls that will ruin your audition. 
Remember, casting directors are rooting for you. They want you to do well because that makes their job easier. Did you find this helpful? If so, like and subscribe to our channel. If you want more audition prep videos, just visit our website. And if you have questions, put them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. Break a leg out there.